This is the story of the hook-handed man. My boyfriend took me to Lover's Lane to do what lovers do. When we got there, we parked facing the overlook. We were talking, we had the music playing, and all of a sudden, a warning came through. A man has escaped from the local prison. The prison was a block maybe over from Lover's Lane. You will know if you see him, for he has a hook instead of a right hand. I immediately look at my boyfriend and I'm like, we should leave, that's terrifying. What are the odds he comes here? He leans in to kiss me and I hear, I pull away. Did you hear that? It's nothing, relax, you're paranoid. Are you still thinking about that hook-handed man? But I was thinking about the hook-handed man. The music stops and the radio goes off again. The police are on the lookout for a hook-handed man who's escaped from prison. It's fine, my boyfriend says at the time. <laughs> Did you hear that? This time he heard it. Now I wasn't the only one in a panic. My boyfriend put the car in drive and we sped off. He went to drop me off at my house. Now my boyfriend's a gentleman, so he gets out of the car to open my door. But when he gets to my side of the car, he stops in his tracks. Uh, climb out my side door. What? Why? Just climb out my side door. We need to call the police. I climb out his door and I walk over to my side of the car. And sitting there on the door handle is a golden hook. We go inside and we tell my parents what happened. We call the police. When the police get there, they ask to see the car and the hook. So we walk over to the car and the hook is gone. And they say the hook-handed man is still out there looking for his next victims on Lover's Lane. I know this is a short story. It's like one my dad would tell me as a kid, but I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you guys.